Zarina and Dillian will be leaving on Monday for the conference, which will run from the 21st to the 24th of this month. That conference is the only scientific conference for students who work in the field of conservation. While being honor students in their respective universities, they also work as interns with the PNG Institute of Biological Research based in Goroka. Under PNG IBR, they are able to conduct fieldwork on their theses. Both of their presentations will be based on ongoing research. Zarinas on cassowaries found in the highlands of PNG. Southern cassowary and the northern cassowary are listed as the um, as vulnerable in the IUCN red list, and dwarf cassowary is the least concerned. But that was the study made in 2005, and till then we haven't made any studies yet. So we don't know right now the abundance of cassowary in our forest today. But we see everywhere people carrying cassowary feathers for billas during festival days. And Dillions on frog species found on Mount Michael in the Eastern Highlands province. Because they are more sensitive to temperature and I'm just seeing if temperature change affects their distribution. So from literature it is known that at lower elevations there are more the biodiversity is more, meaning there's more animals there than at the higher elevation. But from from my studies, I found that it's the total opposite around. Getting a space at the conference required a lot of hard work as they were competing for limited space with PhD and master's students from the Asia Pacific region. Zarina and Dillian have big shoes to fill as fellow Papua New Guinean. Former Miss PNG Grace Nugi attended last year and was awarded the best presentation at the conference. She raised the bar very high and it's up to uh, Dillian and I to maintain that standard to leave that bar there so other female students or other biologists or other researchers that will go in the conference in the next near future or something, they will maintain it there because for a small country like PNG with by um, diverse biodiversity mm. and yeah, we need to conserve and if our government is not helping us that's the only way that we can tell the international community that we are doing mm. this and they can continue to fund us because right now at IBR we are being funded by outside uh, agencies and not the government. Mm. Yeah. We'll be presenting with pride and it gives me the confidence that one of my fellow Papua New Guinea did it and it shows to the world too that there's a country that exists and it's called PNG and we do have everything and we deserve to, to at least have our names on the map especially with um, conservation. Sarah Aupong, National MTV News.